Dozens of people are injured after a bus overturns in Butler County. Good evening. I'm Alexa Ashwell in for Megan O'Rourke. It happened just before 4 a.m. on Interstate 75 near Milliken Road in Liberty Township. Jackie Sprague is live with our top story at 6. Well, a total of 34 bus passengers were taken to area hospitals after this accident. Now, four of them were flown by care flight here to Miami Valley Hospital. The good news is everyone is expected to be okay. Next thing you know, I heard two ladies scream, wake up, wake up. I look up and the bus, the bus driver looked like he was slumped over. I felt one bump and I hugged the seat in front of me and then the bus was laying on its side. And I was real lucky. I just hit my head. Um, but a lot of people were a lot worse. Ambulances rush to the scene to help the injured after a Greyhound bus crashes on Interstate 75 just before 4 Saturday morning. The Ohio State Highway Patrol is reporting that the bus drove off of the roadway near the 26 mile marker, struck a tree and a metal fence, then flipped onto its side. The bus slid through a cornfield before finally coming to a stop. The bus was headed from Cincinnati to Detroit with a stop in Dayton. The cause of the accident is still under investigation. It's something you never think is going to happen to you. 52 people were on board at the time, including the driver. 28 people were taken by ambulances to area hospitals. 16 have since been released. Six were flown by helicopter to trauma centers. Troopers say none of the injuries appear to be life-threatening. More than 75 emergency workers were called to the scene to help, but fellow passengers also pitched in. There's ladies who can't get out, lady broke her arm, there's broken legs. I had I was on my hands and knees letting people step on my back so they could climb on the bus. I was doing whatever I could. I was picking kids up, getting the kids off the bus. And those who walked away from the crash are asking for your help. I hope everyone is, is praying for everyone who is on the bus because there was a lot of real bad uh, injuries. Now, like I said, troopers say everyone is expected to survive that crash. If you had a family member or a friend who was on that bus, you can check your status by calling a number set up by Greyhound. You can find that number by going to our website, WDTN.com. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.